All right, guys, the first thing we do is get us a, a new tie strap and put it around here. Okay. And then, let's put the new shin. Then what we're gonna do, you have this piece right here in the middle. It's a little plastic piece. And I remember both lines went on this side. So what we're gonna do, both ends of the lines, stick them right through here. Okay, now let's go back over here to our piston. Bring our piston in. And then we got that pin in the back. And what I use with a 45 degree angle needle nose. Grabbing that and I'm gonna bring it forward. First I gotta get this thing to line up. Dang it. Let's do switch around sides. Man, that's gonna be a little pain. And that's gonna suck. Genius, wasn't it? Well, wait a minute. It's gotta work first. Dang it! Okay, how are we gonna make sure this thing is lined up? I guess we gotta sit here and play the guessing game.
is when you're gonna need two people. One to move this thing around. Dang it! Up a little bit and towards the back. I think I might have went too much. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna grab this and you're gonna be twisting it. You gotta squeeze, twist it, and pull it back. Pull it back? Ooh. You know, this this way okay. into the cylinder. While I move the cylinder around. Oh my god, that's a lot of pressure on me. Because this thing just won't line up. All right, guys, what I gotta do, I gotta sit here and just continue messing with this. Cause this thing just don't wanna. Gotta go in there. Yeah, it's gotta go right through there. But it's gotta be lined up perfectly. All right, we'll work on it. Hold on, let me see if I, if I line this up right here, and now I gotta go straight. Nope. <laughs> I gotta go up. What's that? Let me see those. difficult to do. I can rebuild the piston. I can't even... Yeah, once you get it, we gotta make sure that it 
push it all the way through just like that and let's get the clip for that be right back all right guys on the end of this pin right here you guys has a little groove and here's the clip so what we gotta do the clip is gonna go onto there and be careful because this you don't want to drop it down there so you want to push that clip get it lined up in the back push down and it's in place great all right let's move on to the back we'll be right back all right guys for this next pit next part you're gonna need this one pin and your little e-clip why they call it an e-clip because it looks like an e I don't know why it looks like an E. All right, so here's the end of our piston. Now we can turn this, we can turn the piston part. So let's pull it forward. Get it lined up right there. It's gonna, we gotta go a little bit more. Gonna be another one. Okay. I'm gonna let get on this side so I can see this. It's better to get in the trunk and do this one. Okay. Gonna have to get a screwdriver so I can smooth this one. I'll be right back. All right, we got our screwdriver right here, and I'm gonna use my screwdriver right between here so I can push slowly, push down on that piston just a little bit. Okay, that's one, and then on the other side, there's another little rod that's gonna line up. I wish I had the tech camera turned that way. Yeah, too bad you didn't. <laughs> Some bull. <laughs> All right, let me get on this side. Funny. <laughs> huh. Smaller screwdriver. that pin through and on the other side over here let's get our e-clip up there and what you gotta do is set the e-clip like that get a small screwdriver or a flat any a flat big screwdriver and you gotta just pop that clip right into place and that is done all right we'll be right back all right guys the next thing we're gonna do bring our lines around and we remember when we took them out of the clips up here, go ahead and pop them back into place. Keep them all across in line. And over here, we picked up this whole Here. And we're inside this little loop right here, so we're going to put it inside the here. Let me get that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, had to go get a tie strap. Pick this up. And remember, it was, we had a tie strap back here. So we'll get all these together. I'm gonna pull this up and do this with one hand.
dang it. Can I, you help? Yeah. You, what? That, the end of that goes into yeah. there. Matter of fact, wait, 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 wait. There you go, Siri. Okay, let's bring it up. Bring it around. Now, inside of here, we'll remember. Let's go like this. Okay. The one in the back, first, let's turn the knob. Turn that like that little latch right there, it latches them into place. And we had number 44 in the back. That sucks. This number is 44 in here. Yeah. You didn't sign Sure. <laughs> huh? Sure. Okay, so let's stick that into place. I'm gonna get do this with my hands around it so you can see. You know what? Forget that. I'll show them the front one. Put that in. Okay, and then the other one right here. What would you do? Up. There it is. Now I'm gonna put it in this one right here. Take the end of it, push it down till it's all the way in. Then you take the lever and turn it clockwise to lock them all into place. And that one's not. There we go. Locked into place. That one's locked into place. And let's get our little Torx bit and tighten those two down. Be right back. All right, guys, let's get those tightened down. We have an Allen key um, of four, number four. <laughs> We're gonna go in here. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go till it stops. And then a little bit more. It doesn't have to have a lot of pressure at all. Let's get the one here in the back. Down to the stops and a little bit more. And then, we got this little piece right here that was here, and what it does, it latches on to the top of each of those brackets, and it makes it like a safety to stop it from turning. That is great. All right, we'll be right back. All right guys, now it's time to fill up our cylinder. And what I got, yeah, my famous Big Bill Ratchet. I got my Big Bill Ratchet. Now you don't have to have a ratchet. You can have you can just have a quarter inch drive or whatever uh, ratchet. But what I'm going to be using is my Big Bill with a reducer, three eighths to quarter inch. And I'm going to use my four inch wobble extension and my T30 socket. And wobble extension allows this to to wobble at the end to get a good angle. So, the reason why we're getting this set up is to fill this cylinder up, we gotta fill it up with a, remove this hex bit, hex bolt, right here in the back. It's a five millimeter hex. To make it easier, we're gonna remove this brace right here. And it's held in by four T30 screws, bolts. One, two, and then there's two up here. So. And I guess I don't need my extension on that. But let's get those four out and we'll be right back. All right, got one more bolt here. Take this out. Bring the, this little bracket down right here. There's a sensor connected to it right here. So don't pull on it. So I'm just gonna set that down to the side just like that. Now, what you're gonna need now is, I should have it out here, a five millimeter hex bit socket and you see it goes right there 
onto there. And I'm gonna use my quarter inch drive ratchet. And this bolt, these bolts, this bolt right here sometimes is kind of tight, so make sure you have a good hex bit socket. And that ain't gonna happen because that one looks like. Dang it. Did somebody, oh man, that's right. Somebody replaced the cylinder on this, so. I don't know if this one, let me get a little hammer, guys, and tap this in to make sure it's nice and tight. Be right back. All right, guys, got me a little hammer here. Hammer time. Yeah. this out okay and be careful there's a little washer right here too if you see that so be careful not to drop any of that or especially when this goes down there you just in the world of trouble <laughs> all right so let's set this to the side and let's get our syringe and our hydraulic fluid and fill this up we'll be right back all right guys the fluid that we're going to be using is chf202 it says power steering fluid, but this is definitely the fluid you're going to need to, uh, you can get the actual Mercedes one, but this is definitely the hydraulic fluid for the convertible tops. What we're going to do here, we got us a little syringe. And open this up. All right, let's go over here. This makes it a lot cleaner. Put it into there. Inject it into the cylinder. And, huh? Not a pump. Okay, the pump, the pump civvy. Okay, and we're gonna keep on doing this, repeating this procedure until, over here on the side, there's our low line and there's our fill line. So we're gonna keep on going till we fill this up to the fill line. And actually what I'm gonna do is fill it up a little bit more because there's nothing inside the line where we did the piston on. All right, be right back. All right guys, as you can see, I don't know if you can see the mark over there where I got it. I'm past the full, that's exactly where I want it to be because I know this thing is completely empty. So let's get our hex, uh, five millimeter hex bolt and again make sure you got the washer or gasket on the end and good thing I said that because I do not want you guys to think this is a washer it is an actual gasket so let's What's the difference because a washer is just to take up space this gasket actually seals it oh. in case it's uh to stop it from leaking all right let's get this tightened down and we'll be right back all right guys, next thing we're gonna do, let's put our bracket back into place with our four T30 bolts. And you notice how there's a slot right here. That's one adjustment back and forth. So the only thing you're gonna do is just put these in there by hand. And then the ones up here, you're gonna actually tighten up first okay and being that we tighten this so first let's get our extension on this and also what you can do like you notice there's marks on the bracket to where the bolt was so you can just hold it right in place and tighten them all down Alright, let's tighten those two up and we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, we got that down. Let's get this panel down there. Let's get it hooked up into here. Okay, what we want to do now is just test the operation of it. But before we do that, we got to put our panel back here, this little, whatever you want to call it, tarp. Everything is good. All right, let's close our trunk. Get the key to this. Yeah, get the key. All right, let me get the key to test it out, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the key. This car is small. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here, and let's look right inside here. You can actually see the piston that we rebuilt. You need a light in there? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try to let me go back a more. Good. All right, let's bring it back up and then we can check and see if anything leaking back there and check our fluid Okay, I'm gonna stop right there well, no, no, never mind. It's too late. What? I was like, we might be able to see in there, see if it was leaking, but it's good. Go ahead. Stopping me from doing my work. It's too much. Okay. Let's open up the trunk. Look at that, dry. That piston is perfectly sealed. Perfect job, guys. If you follow this video, you just saved yourself a bunch, a bunch of money. All right, so now let's put all this stuff back together. So let's get some, let's get our clips and all that. And this thing was missing some bolts, but I'll show you when we come back. We'll be right back. All right, guys, let's get this together. First, we got this little stopper here with a four millimeter hex bolt goes right there and on the other side there's a little part that protrudes out and it goes right into the hole that's for your alignment so get that in there and this is a four millimeter hex bolt so we're using a four millimeter hex socket with a six inch quarter inch drive extension and you want to tighten that up to the stops and a little bit more perfect next we got to have is our little stop bushing it goes right here and that's all you have to do is just twist that right into place 
and now hold in. Now remember, it's got little crypts around here, but half of them was missing. <laughs> That's what you get. But we do have three of them. And we're just gonna go into places where we know that's gonna be loose or running around or something, shaking around. So we're gonna put one here, and what you do is just... That's the right. Well, I don't know. What that should be inside. Let's see, I don't know sure how they got this. I don't know. Somebody broke that thing. All right, so what we're gonna do is push this in, take the center pin, and push that in like that. And you're supposed to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this car only has three. <laughs> so let's get this in, get these in. Uh, we're gonna probably put them up, put the other ones up on the top. All right, let's get that and we'll be right back. All right guys, with these, the wires going to the CD changer, you know, we're gonna put those them underneath okay we got those now we can put our cover onto this I wish we had the thing we did And the way I'm putting this on is it got little hooks right here on the bottom. You hook it on to the bottom down there and then bring it up, push it into place. Done. Alright, the next thing we're gonna do is we got our bracket over here for our CD changer. This sucks. I'm gonna put this this way. And this is supposed to have three 10 millimeter bolts, but one of them was stripped out. So what we're gonna do is put in two of them. I gotta make sure those wires are out of the way. I'm not gonna hit anything. There. Got one right here and one back here. This one was missing, but we're gonna put us a bolt there. Messed up too. Oh man! And guys, you see, you see, I'm, I'm having a little problem here. Um, this is things you definitely want to let the customer know because you know somebody the, the piston on this side, and a bunch of this stuff is missing. So you have to let the customer know because you don't want anything rattling around, and then you're at fault for it. And right now, this CD player is only going to be held in by one 10 millimeter bolt. And hopefully don't rattle around and the CDs jump. So we got that in there. So let's get a 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna tighten this one up. Be right back. All right, got my 10 millimeter deep quarter inch drive on my big bill. See that's. That sucks, man. Let me make sure I can't. Nope, I'm tight. Oh well. So next thing we're gonna do is grab our CD changer, and you got one that's gonna be closed off. That's going to the telephone. Yours might be hooked up. This one's not. So we're gonna go up under here and hook these up. We're gonna hook up the little one first. Plug that in, and the reason by being that because when you hook up the bigger one, it covers right across that one. Okay, great. Now you got these little tabs right here, one on each side. They go into the slots right here. So we got to bring it over 
hook it into the slot and bring it forward and over here you're gonna see two openings where you're gonna see to put your bolts at and this one only had one but I ended up getting some different ones and I got five two five sixteenths bolts I should have got a screwdriver you know let me get a cuz I got these and these got a little I can use a, a four-way screwdriver on them let me get a screwdriver and I'll be right back all right got my screwdriver Let's set this right there. Dang, that's why they did this. Man, that's too difficult. Forget that, man. Putting that bolt in there. Dang, it's supposed to be magnetic. It's not. Uh. Okay. Let's get our other one in, then we're going to tighten them up, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I tighten that one up, now let's tighten up this last one over here. This sucks, man, because this... Alright, the next thing we got, guys, is back here. Remember these plastic screws we hooked up? Where are they? I got one right here, and one right here. Okay, what well, we're going to put on... Is this sorry? Did I hit you with that? Mm -hmm. Sivy, did I hit you with that? Yeah, you hit me. Gonna put this cover back up here. Okay, take out the two plastic nuts, and these are 10 millimeter nuts. And they're plastic, so it's not tight at all. So I'm taking my big bill, and that's all I'm doing is just slowly bringing it up all right let's do that and we'll be right back all right guys now we're ready to put on our i'm gonna call this a tanu cover tanu. the what tanu tanu whatever they call it t-o-n-e-u you ever heard of that so i think that's the right spelling check it out oh you know what I forgot to show them um guys check it out uh let me pop this cover off i forgot to show you guys the level you can see it's right there at the full and remember when i put it in there I filled it up, probably pat up to this line right here, because I knew the line's empty. And I just lucked out that after everything was said and done, it came right to the full line, so I don't have to add none. So get this back into place. Right, let's get our cover on. Where this thing goes. Okay. Like this. Put your suitcase up there. That's what it says. It says it goes below it. Dang it! We have to go back. Start back here. You knew that because you did that earlier. I did not this part right here. So we don't be telling me what you I did. You did do that. Don't be telling me what I did. And I'm know just I saying that's what you did. All right. Let's put it back there. We got our two 10 millimeter bolts. You know what? Where's that sucking at? I'm gonna use my five inch, quarter inch drive extension with my 10 millimeter deep. And let's get this part set down. Reach it over into this trunk. You want to start it off by hand by a couple threads, that way you don't get it cross threaded. Let's get the other side. All right, let's get our favorite tool the big bill. All right, let's tighten up the other side. Okay, look around, make sure all your tools are out, everything is good. Okay. Don't you have to put the cover back over there? Come on, what? Over here. 
Oh yeah, let me get all this one down. Alright guys, let me roll this one because Sylvia's making... <laughs> Alright, let me roll the window down and I'll be right back. Alright guys, let's get our plastic piece in here. Said than done. Dang it! Let's open up this top. Okay. This should make it easier. Hey, you know what? There's a bolt missing right here. A screw missing that goes into here and into this. Oh, man, so what we gotta do? Find us a find a screw to go in there. All right, guys, we're gonna let us we're gonna find a screw to go in here so we can get this so this thing won't rattle around. Be right back. All right, guys, got us a little bolt, and the bolt goes through here and into that bracket, into that base cover. So let's get this down. over here but I hate when people don't put stuff back together like it's supposed to be okay we got that right there now let's go over here to the front. And we got this piece right here. But shouldn't... Hold on a minute. Should this be on the opposite side of that? That's what weird how it... Let me get that piece out and I'll be right back. All right, guys, got that piece back in there. Damn. Three T8 screws. And get them into place. We'll be right back. Alright guys, tighten them screws. 
up. All right, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, now I got my seven millimeter wrench. Tighten that bolt down. You know what, out of curiosity, let's go look at this other side for a minute. See, I knew it. And the piece that goes inside here is gone, that little metal piece. These people, whoever did this, and I bet you, I wonder, because this customer used to take her car strictly to the dealership. So this thing is missing all these clips and everything, man. All right, last but not least, we got this strap right here. And you, you can't really see it from that perspective, but, there is a little bar that it hooks to. And I'm gonna hook that up. You can feel it right there. All right, let's try this out again. Let me get all my bolts and stuff out of here and we'll be right back. All right guys, let's get my tools up. Let's uh, continue closing, op opening it, closing, opening it. Okay, close it. You didn't finish. Huh? You didn't finish. The trunk hadn't closed yet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now you're finished. Now, now, open it up. I'm going to leave it open. Taking this car for a ride. <laughs> Got to make sure the top works good when wind hitting it. <laughs> well, Simi going to take it for a drive. <laughs> you gonna take it for a drive, Sammy? No. Yeah, you saying that on camera, no. It's not my car. Closed? It's open? Closed? It's all open. Right. Next thing we're gonna do, guys, right here, I noticed her, her control panel is all loose and messed up. Damn, things all broken. I would put some like crazy glue around it, but if she ever have to change anything, that's gonna suck. Well, I'm gonna just let her know. She probably already know this. But there you go. That's it.